Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Minepacks plugin. Now, this is a Minecraft backpack plugin, and this allows players to have their very own extra storage on them at all times. So if that sounds interesting, I'm now going to show you how to install it and also how to use it. So first, let's get to downloading. So the first link in the description will take you to this website, and this is the bucket page for mine packs. Once you're here, feel free to read any information you want. But if you want to just download it straight away, you can click download latest file. Once a file has downloaded, go ahead and put it in your server's plugins folder. However, for mine packs to work, we do need a permissions plugin. And for this video, I'm going to be using Luckperms. You have a whole video on Luckperms if you do want to learn how to use it, but I will be showing you some basics in this video. So the second link in the description will take you to Luckperms, which as we're using a plugin, we're going to install the bucket version. So click bucket. And now we have our two plugins, Luckperms and Minepacks. Now upload both of these to your server's plugins folder and restart it. So once you join the game, you should find that somewhere in your inventory, you now have a backpack. And I can open mine, but you might not be able to. I can open mine because I'm an op, but if I de-op myself, as you can see, I don't have permission to open it. So now either op yourself or go to your console as we'll need to run a command. Okay, so I've now made myself an op, and we're gonna do the command slash LP for luck perms, and then editor. It will say preparing a new session, and then it will give you a link, which you can then click on, and then click yes. Now when you click on the link, you may get this pop-up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this to copy it. Once it's copied, we're gonna go back to Minecraft and paste it in as another command. And now our editor window has been successfully connected. So now we can go back once again, and now it tells us to choose a group or a user from the sidebar. So if you click groups, you have default, Every user that joins the server will be in this group by default. And then if we click users, we can actually see all the users that are currently online on the server and give them permissions individually. And I'm just going to do that for this. So if we go to my user, at the bottom where it says add permissions, you probably see some backpack permissions already coming up. Now, first of all, to make us be able to use the backpack, we're going to select backpack.use. And it will appear just below here at the bottom. And now we need to select the size of the backpack that we want to choose. So this is how the backpack sizes work. Backpack size 1 will give you 9 slots, as it uses a 1x9 grid. Backpack size 2 will do a 2x9 grid. Backpack size 3 will go a 3x9 grid, and so on. So for this, we're going to give ourselves a backpack size of 2. That has also just appeared at the bottom now, and now we're going to go to the very right and click Add. And now these permissions have been added to our user. So we're going to click apply. And now if we go back to the game, if we make sure that we're de-opt, we should have a backpack size of two, meaning that we have two rows of nine. So if we try opening our backpack, you actually can't open it in creative. So we need to switch back to survival. All right, so I'm now in survival and I'm not opt. So now if we open our backpack, as you can see, we have two rows of nine. So that is very simply how you can use the plugin. However, there is a ton more permissions you can give, and they are all listed on the plugin's website. As you can see here, we have permissions, and then all of these here are different permissions, and it explains what each one does. So I'm just now going to give myself the maximum backpack size, and if we apply, you may also have this. And this is a command that you have to run in the server. You can also do it in the server's console as well. So if we go ahead and type it in there, we're going to remove the slash at the start as the console doesn't need it and just press enter. Now, as you can see, we've added backpack size six and removed backpack size two. And now if we go ahead and check our backpack, as you can see, we have a ton more space. I've now just killed myself through the console. And if we go to respawn, we're actually given a backpack and it will have nothing in it. However, there is a permission you can change which means that you'll keep all the items in your backpack when you die. If you die with your backpack and you don't have it so everything stays in it, then it will actually drop out of it, as you can see this piece of gravel that I had in my backpack earlier. This is now on the floor from when I died earlier. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.